We're here to service the unserviceable. People need a place to fuck. They can't do it in their own homes for whatever reason. We live in some weird dystopian society where cameras are everywhere but in these hotels and people want the privacy they deserve to fuck each other's brains out. Fucking raw, okay? So when I say you do your jobs and you do it well, you're doing it for the service of mankind. Some of these people are gonna get pregnant in here, make babies, keep the civilization and humanity going, and that's good. That's a good thing, and you should feel happy that you're a part of that. So get out there and work. I need more staff. I need, uh, I need one more cleaner. We gotta get, we gotta get the cleaning, cleaning shit going, okay? It's getting harder to get up to this, uh, what am I inspecting? I'm inspecting them. You've been inspected. Uh, got condoms. People are doing condoms. Vending machine. Now we got a vending. Let's restock that one though. Boom. All right. Shall we build upwards? Let's build downwards. We've got another. We've got another place down here. Okay. Another utility closet. Boom. And, uh, I want to make another balloon room, so I'm going to have to wait until we get some more money. The balloon room's a hit. Uh, you wouldn't think it, w it would be. There's a lot of people with, uh, what's it called? Cho cholera phobia? Fear of clowns. Whatever that is. I don't have it. Clowns don't scare me. You know, they're, they're just more annoying than anything. I just find them kind of annoying, and I don't get it. I don't, I don't get I don't get in this day and age how a clown is entertaining and funny. Um, in the 1930s, you know, during the Great Depression, of course, people need circuses. They need clowns uh, for free because it's you know, the depression. No one could afford anything. But now, I just don't see the point. People are fucking in the maintenance room again. There are so many clean rooms. What are you doing? What is that the staff members? Yeah, I'm going to see who comes out of there. You better be paying for it. No, that's just a regular couple. And I feel like they stole stuff from there. Need more condoms? There you go, you got condoms. Um, no, we're gonna, we're still waiting on that, that balloon room. Might, might get another condom machine though. Condom machine seems to be a hit and it's 150 bucks for condoms. I don't know, how many condoms are you buying? Like a tw like a, a twenty four pack or something. That's probably not even you know, like fifty. Like fifty is like a hundred hundred fifty bucks. Would you? Oh my god! Who keeps breaking that fucking vending machine? You people are. I know. I know. We don't have the greatest food here, but you don't have to fucking abuse the damn thing. Those people aren't satisfied with the clown room. Oh guys, it wasn't clean. Oh my god, the clown looks so unhappy right now. <laughs> he can't unsee what he's seen. <laughs> What are these maintenance people doing downstairs? What are you doing? You're not doing- are the cleaning people? You, there's rooms to be cleaned. I think. No, no, they're all clean. Okay. Why is there a big giant bucket in the back? Oh, that's the, the trash, the trash. Okay, we almost- okay, we got enough for uh, another clown room. Um. God, I want that tropical room, but that is so much money. Alright. It's happening. Balloon room engage. Drop me down to, to a little over a grand, but you know what? It's fine, because people are gonna, oh shit, I gotta get more vending. Restock the vending machine, because someone broke it, because they're assholes. There we go, there we go. Look at all that money I'm getting. Clean the, please clean the clown room. You, right there, you, I see you. You're sitting there in front of the clown room. There you go. That clown's so unhappy. Who wants to go downstairs? Yeah, you do. Show them to their clown room. Don't worry. You can ask the clown to turn around and close his eyes. He won't peek. He's a respectful clown. Oh my. Okay. All right. God, so much fucking going on. I really want to get to three stars. This is 
It's taking a while. I guess I just gotta get more rooms in here, huh? Let's build a spoon room downstairs. More rooms. We might need another bellhop. Get three bellhops in there. Maintenance. Three maintenance. It's gonna be expensive, but you know what? In the long run, this is what we need. At my hotel. With a, with, a, with a double sex dungeon, okay? That's what it is, the sex dungeon. Now, do you actually fuck in the spooning room? Is it just, I guess it's all themed. So it's like, you can have sex in the spoon room, but then, you know, you have to spoon. Either before or after the, the coitus, you must spoon. Otherwise, what is the purpose of the room? Why call it the spoon room, you know? Obviously, clearly. Oh. Why? Okay, a lot of people are unhappy with the clown room. I apologize. If clowns aren't your thing, you know, uh, we're moving, we're going upwards. We got, we got more money, but we got to keep doing this. Okay, uh, let's get another vending machine up here. Boom. Um, and then just a regular love room. Boom. Cool. Cool. Yeah. You'd think this music would, 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 you know, like, get annoying after a while. Oh, maintenance room needs restocking. Boom, 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 boom. Condoms. Okay, that just costs a lot of money. But you know what? You gotta, yeah, spend money to make money in this business. This business of letting people fuck in your, in your hotel. What is, that cleaner was just, like, moonwalking backwards. That was pretty crazy. There he goes again, he's moonwalking. It's not moonwalking backwards. Moonwalk moonwalk means you go backwards. So he's just just moonwalking. I apologize. Nomenclature. Semantics. All right. We got this. Everyone just have a good time and fuck. It's the best fuck you're ever going to have. All right. What about those people down at the bottom? Are you satisfied with the clown room? Are you getting some food? Okay, that's good. Yeah. Spend your money here. That's the that's the point. You're spending money. Okay? Yeah, they were satisfied with the clowns. Oh man, this place is getting busy. It's getting busy, and I'm I'm getting busy thinking about it. Another spoon room, please! Yes! More spooning. Spooning's awesome. Cuddling in general is just really fucking cool. I don't know if I've made that clear um, on YouTube, but I, I'm a big cuddler. I love cuddling. Sometimes, oh. So who broke the condom machine? Come on now. Come on. We need condom service. Maintenance. There we go. Fix that shit, dude. All right. All right. We've got clowns. We've got clowns in there. They're creepy and they're invasive. But you know what? We're getting to three stars. Three stars is the goal right now, okay? We want to become a five-star hotel eventually. What is that down at the bottom? You see that? That red thing? Is that Satan? Let's, here, let's see what happens if we build downwards. Bagoo. Oh, it's a treasure chest! I just built over the dead body. <laughs> um, another spoon room. Ooh, that put me... Oh, man, that almost put me in the hole. That was bad. That was bad. Uh, do you lose if you just, like, go underneath the budget? I don't think you would. Oh, that was a big electricity bill. But you know what? I mean, you'd think the electricity bill would be kind of low because people would turn off the lights when they're fucking. I'd hope they're turning off the lights. Some of these people are, you know, butt ugly. Butt ugly. Uh, let's get some more condoms. You guys need condoms. Oh, that was close. Why did I do that? I gotta check my money before I do shit like that. All right. 600 bucks. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Ooh, that was close. That was close. <laughs> I don't want to lose this place. This is my livelihood right here. Restock. Restock. Please. Uh, the rest of this is good. You're all good. Man. I'm trying to I'm trying to imagine exactly what I would do if I actually had a hotel where people were, were fucking. I mean every hotel in the existence, in the history of hotels. You know, like, I'm sure like 75% of the people that go there just go there to sleep. The other 25% there, they go there specifically to have sex. And, 
you got it. I mean, most places they just turn a blind eye. It's not. It's not their business. Privacy is a virtue, you know. Especially with the NSA out there spying on us. If you go to a hotel, you want to make sure once you close those blinds and lock that door, you're safe. You know, no one's gonna peek in on you. You can do whatever you want in there. And then in the next morning, the cleaning ladies will come in and you know deal with that, which is kind of fucked up if you think about it. I've trashed some hotel rooms in my days, not like trash, trash like broke stuff, but you know, like I'm a messy dude when I'm on vacation. I don't have time for that shit. But uh, I don't think I've ever like sprayed semen all over the walls or anything like that, because that's that's rude. You know, that's rude. Not here at the Love Hotel. At my Love Hotel, spraying semen everywhere is 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 encouraged. You know, we want you to. Do things that normally, you know, you might be afraid to do. Another spooning room. And then... Another maintenance closet down there. There we go. I want you guys to have as much maintenance... Oh, we're getting close to three stars, you guys. Three fucking stars. Ugh. That's like best Western status right there. What broke? God, that vending machine is terrible. It's fucking awful. Restock. Mm. Sure, restock that. Restock everything. One more satisfied com uh, customer. Okay, that's all we need. Or two more, I guess we could say. Well, I mean, one of them can be satisfied and the other one could not be satisfied. There's always that, you know, the risk uh, during sex is that, you know, one person had a good time, the other person, not so much. Not so much. The rhythm could have been off, you know, the moves weren't there, compatibility issues. It's possible. It's very possible. So you really gotta, you know, you know, you gotta keep that in mind. Yes! You gotta hire cooks and build dining rooms, kitchens, and chocolate sweets.